Well, I cannot say how happy I am that to see you all here back again now after a two years break of the TMS Symposium. We have been overwhelmed by how positive the reception was. It was fully booked for the first time in a, in a very short time frame. The NTMS is actually very useful because it is a pre-operative mapping of eloquent structures such as motor and speech that I will then see intra-op to see whether they correlate or not with the electrical stimulation of the brain. And it will allow us not only to plan surgical approaches but also to determine how aggressive we can be in our resections in our oncology when we come close towards eloquent areas and we jointly can take a best decision about the treatment that suits the patient and not the pathology. TMS EG can be used in basic and clinical research. This is actually the future, like uh, to map different areas of the brain. So it doesn't only give an idea of how the brain responds in this particular targeted area, but also how it is connected. We are doing a rehab study, and we've completed it actually, working with um, patients with brain tumors, and we're giving them cortical stimulation via TMS uh, after neurosurgery. And what we saw is that indeed, when we deliver low frequency stimulation to the unaffected hemisphere, we can see cortical activity on the other hemisphere, which is what we want. We want that hemisphere to become active after surgery. It is well known that patients who suffer from chronic neuropathic pain have a high comorbidity with major depressive disorder. By using neuro-navigated TMS, using the patient's actual MRI, we're able to more precisely and consistently find the appropriate area to stimulate. This leads to better results.